welcome back to another lady of the house episode today i am about to leave my grandparents house and oh it just started off so so wrong i feel um, you guys have a playhouse Oh, it's a door handle. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Wow. Let's show them the top. Wow. Mm, it smells so good. Are you going to make your bed? Go get your bed. I think you should have your head up there. Um, I walked up to their house which I think I'm going to be putting that clip in here but there was a huge dead beetle out in front of the the door and it just oh, not a great way to start the day I was about to water but I did water yesterday so I think that you know it can go a day without watering and I will just have to water tomorrow but I am so thankful that Jorge was willing to come over and get rid of it and um, you know check the perimeter just to make sure that there weren't any bugs I think that they just recently sprayed here so all of the critters were coming out and it was just very unpleasant so anyway now that that's all done um, I'm leaving my grandparents house now I really need to get gas again although I think that I will just wait until we go out if we're going to leave the house today I'm not going to just do that first thing because I want to get home I have so much that I need to accomplish today I have videos to film because I haven't filmed anything during this week by the way Jorge has been off for his vacation um, he's taken 12 days off so it has been very difficult to get anything else done other than what we're doing with the kids or you know being around each other because I don't have that time to myself and so it's just been a little bit more difficult and um, now I'm waiting till the end half of the week when it's all due I feel to get those things done but today we have something really exciting planned with the kids um, the playhouse has been built so they have been enjoying playing out there although it is really hot during the day I think it's getting up to what is it I think it's supposed to be a hundred and two today and Jorge even put an air conditioning unit in there so that the kids would want to play out there so far it's really just been Aria doing most of the playing but the kids have slept out there a couple of nights so um, I think the newness has worn off <laughs> and they're not as excited about sleeping out there right now and especially when it's this hot but tonight I told them that we would sleep out there with them 
just because they wanted to do a challenge or something about sleeping out there. So anyway, it's not going to be a 24 hour challenge because I don't have 24 hours to spend in a playhouse, especially when there's all of these other things to, that we need to do. So um, when I get home, I really want to get some breakfast and see what's going on, see how, you know, we're feeling today, what all the kids want to do and what Jorge is feeling up to doing on that. I've also been trying to answer all my emails and I haven't gotten so much into the comment section recently because uh, like all of this stuff going on and Jorge being home, he's really wanted me to kind of pull back from the extra computer time. So he's wanted me to just kind of have my head out of all of that. And so it's been a nice break, but I also feel the pressure still. So I know that that really shouldn't worry me at all because, you know, we need to focus on those in front of us and all of that and that's what I've been trying to do while he's been home so if you haven't heard much from me that's why although know that I've read every single comment and I appreciate them I try to let you guys know that by hearting them and especially if they're if they're nice positive comments they definitely deserve a heart so the majority of the day is gone now it is almost four o'clock in the afternoon um, I spent a lot of time with Jorge once I got home. All of the stuff that I had planned to do, we didn't do, or I didn't do. And then um, we rested. I am sick with something, and I've been feeling like this for a couple of days, but I would say after my nap, I just really felt it. So anyway, I have like a cold, I think. Um, I did my mom's laundry, so I'm just going to be putting it all away right now and then cleaning her house. I was supposed to do this Monday, but I didn't, and here it is Thursday. So I'm finally getting to it. The other thing is I got a new chair from Craigslist that I'm really excited to share with you guys. So I've been searching more secondhand things now. Um, I think that a big problem that I've been finding with the stuff that I've bought new is that I tire of it easily because it doesn't have the detail that I really like in it. And then of course those things that have a lot of detail that are new, they're a lot more expensive. Anyway, so I know that a big thing that I've been missing in my home has been some greenery. So I've been wanting to get real greenery. I looked at some of the prices on some of that fake stuff and number one, it doesn't look that good to me to pay that kind of money for it. And I'm all about real greenery it's something that I love to take care of so yes that's something that I think is adding a nice layer to all of the stuff that I have because it was just feeling really cold and and um, just not very homey I feel like when you have greenery real plants around that's one of the things that makes it feel so homey to me at least in my mind so anyway I need to get all of these clothes put away
So this is the chair that I got off of Craigslist and it's kind of like a burgundy color. It's really nice, it was in good condition. I liked how small it was. It's not too tiny, but it's not big at all. So I just think it's the perfect chair for me. And then I had this, made this whole setup. I got this ficus plant from Lowe's and then I just potted it in there, um, put it on a little plant stand. And then these are the frames that we got from Hobby Lobby. And I put my paintings in there, which I still need Jorge to hang up. And I can't make up my mind as to where I would like them hung up yet. So anyway, this mirror that I had Jorge put up from the last time, I decided to take it down just because I felt like it wasn't a good fit, you know me, with change and everything. This from Hobby Lobby and this was just way too small for this area because it basically went right to the edge of the fireplace, the, this part. And I really wanted these to stick out further so we got these from Hobby Lobby as well and these caught my eye a few weeks ago and I just really wanted to use them for the fireplace mantle. It really inspired me to just get this done. And then um, we decided to pick up a piece of wood from Home Depot, since that's not going to work. And Jorge just cut it, so I'm going to show you what it's looking like and the, um, what do you call the, uh, the stain that we got. So the stain is called, what is it, weathered oak, this is it, yeah, weathered oak, and it's looking nice. This one right here is called sun bleached, and it's just really gray. I don't like the way that turned out at all. But this is going to have a gray tinge to it, but it's still going to be, um, have a nice natural natural look to it I think and it matches the what are those things called the L brackets is that what they're called yeah, you can call them. yeah so how long is this piece of wood that you cut 57 inches 57 inches so we might have to do a couple of coats of this and then I wanted to give this plant a good watering. I didn't put any water in it yesterday when I potted it and um, it just wasn't sucking the water up when I would pour it in there. So I just took it out here and um, really gave it a lot of water. Now my mom picked this set up for me for $25. Um, I think someone was selling it on Craigslist or on Facebook and so yeah she just got this I picked up a couple of cushions I thought that this would be good for it but turns out these are better for the top part and I would need something a little bit bigger for the seat area which they have a matching one. I got these at Walmart this from Walmart as well and um, I just like the simplicity of this. I almost got the floral ones that had like some pink in it and they were navy, but I like this better. Those are the cushions that came with it. And um, they didn't really sit on it very well either, but some of them were kind of falling off a bit. But I like the way that this setup is. We might end up spray painting it later on, who knows. And, 
Yeah, it's much more comfortable than the little bistro set I have over there, which is fine to eat at, but this is nice for relaxing, kicking your feet up, watching Jorge stain. All right, it's time to go to sleep out at the cabin with the kids, so that is where we're going to go. Fawn is out here. Trying to carry all this stuff, which you can't see. And not spill my water. Ouch. And trying to walk through the rocks. Oh my goodness, the kids are already fighting. This is going to be a lot of fun. Alright. This is it. We are going to sleep. I'm feeling like I didn't get very much yesterday and I wanted to also share the mantle that Jorge kind of did a little DIY with me. We stayed the night in the kids playhouse although I kept waking up all through the night. I was having horrible dreams. Um, I was just very uncomfortable and my back was killing me on that wood floor even though the kids laid down some mats and stuff but it just wasn't enough for me. So anyway I woke up at about 2 30. I asked Jorge if he wanted to go into the house and he said yeah. So we just went inside the house and I tried to get a couple more hours of sleep before we had to get up to go walking. And now my mom is saying that she wants to get up earlier because she needs to have like some alone time in the morning before she goes into work. Which I was already trying to wake up about four o'clock so that I could get some reading done and get my morning pages done because of this book right here, The Artist's Way. And this has already been a book that I'm just loving right now. And I haven't gotten very far in it, but it's a 12 week process. And so the first thing that I'm supposed to start is my morning pages, which I've done morning pages in the past, but then I got out of doing them. And I think after reading this, I really want to keep up with it. And then um, also, the artist date so if that's not something you're familiar with and you feel like you are constantly lacking creativity at different times um, this may be the book for you or if you just want to be more creative you want to unleash your creative side your artist the artist in you that is what this book is perfect for. Um, this is something that I know is going to be very beneficial for me because I struggle in different times of the month with my creativity and I know that if I set aside the time for you know re-energizing myself rebuilding myself with those things that I need to consistently be creative then that will be very helpful for me and especially when making videos because sometimes I just get into moods where I'm like I'm not feeling it um, you know, I've just got to set it aside. So this evening we have our friends coming over. So we are going to be making dinner. I'm probably just going to make a, the usual of what I've been making for people, which is the Parmesan encrusted chicken. It's something that everybody loves. That looks nice. It matches really well, huh? That's what I do. <laughs> like although there are still some finishing touches so it's not completely finished he has some trim to to put up along here um, the roof he still needs to fix all of the um, shingles on there it's it's just not finished on there but the rest of it is and um, Jorge put in a little AC unit in here which is kind of necessary if you're going to be having kids playing in here during the summertime um, but we had a lot of fun sleeping in there last night although 
I could not finish the night out. But the kids loved it. They had fun just knowing that we were in there with them. They had already spent a couple of nights in here by themselves. Although last night was Aria's first night where she actually stayed in because she would kind of get scared. So I'm going to take this camera off the tripod here and take you inside. Okay. So coming in, there is a hose for the AC unit and then all of the kids' stuff that they were using to sleep in here. And Jorge slept over here. I slept right here. Aria, Ivan slept down here with, I think Ayla was down there, and then Kira slept up here. So... <laughs> This has been really fun for them, although during the day it's just really hot. So, um, this someone made some signs up there, I see. But as a kid, I, I know I would have loved this little thing, but um, I did have a playhouse when I was a kid. Not, not like this, but it was similar in the fact that there wasn't an, an upstairs area which is something that I absolutely loved. So I know that the kids like being up there and we can all fit in here. If we had to survive in a space this size, we could as a family of six. So anyway, oh, and there is plexiglass on here and on all the windows. And then I can see where they were trying to cover up the holes so the air wouldn't escape. So yeah, I'm going to go back inside now. Whew, it is hot in there. Jorge's got some cleanup to do out here. I'm going to get my tripod. My mom's out on her deck and I need to get inside. I, I want to show you how everything turned out on the mantle. So that's what I'm going to take you to do now before I finish with all of the last minute details before we have company. Okay, right now Jorge is hanging these pictures. I have a feeling that I'm going to have him change these eventually <laughs> because they look so small on this wall. Uh, I know, I know, I'm horrible about this. I know, look at all the holes in the walls. I can't stand it. Oh, you're being smart about it. That's good. I'm Nikki proofing it. <laughs> Nikki so proofing with all well this. Take out some stock on these. <laughs> this is the only kind I can buy. Look at those. I need those out from that mirror I hung in the last one. This is the area that I'm very pleased with right here. So we got this little mirror here for $10 at Ross. And then Jorge fixed a candle that he broke today and put it in this glass. Um, it's kind of like a candy dish, I think. It was something that I picked up at a yard sale with my mom more recently, and I've been using it for candy or gum or something along those lines, but um, he turned it into a candle, and I really liked it. Actually, this part broke off, and so he just glued it with some Gorilla Glue, and I like it either way, but since I still had this and I like it, I had him put that back together. Um, and then I... Finally, well, I had this framed. This is my Degas painting. Um, this is just some foliage, some fake flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby when we went to go get these L brackets. And um, this book I just picked up from Goodwill today and I started reading it to the family. Um, and then this I got from, where was this from? home goods these were a home good find I plan on uh, finding more books that you know I would like to read to the family and putting them up here but for now I just covered some books that I have with some of this paper that my sister-in-law got me and then these are Pottery Barn and I just picked up some new candles these are a cream tone from Kmart for like 99 cents. I'm sure I could get a better deal on that somewhere and when I find a better deal I'll pick up a lot more because I love burning those. And so yes, since the last vlog I did get this 
little chair here and I really love that size and that is my reading chair over there at this I found at Kmart and I would always ask my Grammy if I could borrow her lace tablecloth and it actually had a couple of stains on it but um, I found this at Kmart it was 50% off and I picked one up and I was very happy to find one that fit our table and I like the way that it lightens up this this area because I felt like it was very dark with all of the wood and so I like the way that it breaks it up and I'm falling in love with it all over again so um, I think that it turned out really great it's nice to have something on the wall thank you very much Jorge so those are my paintings that I just did since last week since we last uh, spoke and I like the way that this color ties in the couch. Thank you. So the tans in here, the beiges, and then everything's not gray, everything's not white. I'm looking to just break some of that up. So this is how it turned out. I'm really happy with it. I did put this over there, and a couple of you suggested that I, um, put the long couch on this wall so it wasn't weird and I ended up doing that I put the little table right over there that I had ended up having next to that seating area that I made and um, so this is how it's looking I took the table out of here because there was just too much furniture and nobody could get work their way around with having the desk right over there and um, I think someone else also said that we should put a couch over there and a couch right here with the desk over there, but that did not work out. It And I've tried that before and it just doesn't work out. And I look forward to decorating it for the holidays. So now it's time to freshen up a bit before we have company come over. I would like to put my hair back up. I took it down when I went to go take the picture for um, the thumbnail and I don't know how that's going to turn out yet, but hopefully it'll be cute. I planned on saying uh, Lady of the Playhouse, so I think that um, we're just going to take it easy the rest of the night, enjoy one another's company, play games, have good food, and just enjoy our time. And no camera coming out, that's something that I'm really trying to focus more on, is just being present in the moment and um, you know just enjoying the time that we have with friends and family so i hope that you guys enjoyed tagging along these past two days and until next time i hope that you all take care and have a lovely weekend bye everyone